There are two flavors of Pie Scripter. There's the portable version, and there's the version that's designed to be installed onto your desktop or your laptop. And it's this version that we are going to install today. This tutorial is in two parts. First, I'm going to show you how to download and install PyScripter, which is a very useful editor and very easy to use. You'll love it. And then I'm going to show you how to download and install the correct version of Python. And yes, there are many different versions and you will need to install the correct version. I'll show you how to do that in part two at the end of the video. Search for PyScripter and then go for this one, which is the uh, salesforge.net PyScript to download. Once you get here, go to files. And if you want a 32-bit version, click this one. If you want a 64-bit version, click this one. These are just older versions. Um, read the note down here about which version you should choose. So it's not just about the uh, uh, which version your machine is, which version your CPU is. You need to think about which version of um, Python you've downloaded. So this is portable for the 64-bit version. And this is uh, the setup wizard. So I'm going to download this one. Then go to open. Now the installation process starts. So these are the uh, usual questions. And then click install. Go to next. Launch PyScripter, yes. And when you open it up, if you have the problem of it's in a foreign language, and what happens is it looks something like this. Okay, um, all you do is you just go to one, two, three, four. And then come down to this one here. So that's the third from the bottom. And then just click on the top one. And it will be in English, which is what you want. If I go to help about, it shows you that I have indeed installed 2.6. If you're not getting numbers down the side here, if I make this bigger, if you're not getting numbers down the side, go to Tools, Options, and then go to Editor Options. And then click this one, Show Line Numbers. 
Okay, so you might get it so it's like that. I like the line numbers, so I'm going to put them back. Okay, so now um, the only thing left to do is to give it a quick test. And then if you want to run something, you just click on this button here, run. And down the bottom, if I make that bigger, oops, bigger. Drawing stuff. You can see that um, it's printed out hello. You can type stuff straight into this. So if you do like uh, yes, uh, 5 plus 5 and then hit return, it gives the answer. But I find that this is very handy because um, now you can you can write stuff and test it out straight into this without too much problem at all. Use Python interpreter. So I can do the same thing here. And that's what was happening down the bottom. One of the nice features is this step through. So if you don't understand quite how a piece of code works, you can use this step through button and step through it bit by bit. So um, it's now, you know, it's just got one line of code here. So this is not a very good example, but you show that it's, it's putting it through here. So if I, uh, if I um, write something like, um, So if I, let me start this again. If I just stop, I clear this so you can see it because I, I forgot to put um, the S in. I think it's just the S that that makes the difference. Let's try this. If I go to run, yes. It was just the S here that made the difference. I didn't have to put it in brackets. If I had a string, if I had a, um, a number of, of variables, like my name, my second name, um, then I would have to put them into brackets. So like, uh, if I did this and then did, um, And then tried to run it. Um, oh, it, it does still work. Uh, yeah, I didn't have to put it into brackets at all. So it is, it is just uh, uh, this this modular symbol. But make sure you've got a yes because if you put a D there, I think I've been through this in another video, so I won't go too into it. Um, that that doesn't work because it's now looking for a decimal. So if I put string S for string, and then it prints it down the bottom there. So, um, the step through function. Um, if I look at the step through, and then I click it again. Now, if I if I hover over here, it tells you what it is. It says that the name of the variable is my name. The type is string, um, and the value is Tony. If um, I look at this one here. It tells you that um, the name of it is my name too. The type is string, and the value is McDonald. So it tells you what's in the variables. It's uh, this is uh, is quite good then because then you can keep track of things if you've got quite a lot of code. But and if you want to stop, you press this button here. Um, if you want to uh, 
customize it with different themes, then you can choose these different themes that are that that are here. So then let's just do this one. Oh, it's got silver, uh, black. Hmm, I didn't really do sort of do much, did it? Uh, if I go blue, that's uh, that's kind of nice. Um, Office XP, that's uh, sort of dull. Dream, yeah. Um, aluminium. Default. And in run, you can use um, syntax check. Uh, you have all of these other options down here as well. So you can find run in there. So I usually just use this one. If you're using a virtual environment and that virtual environment is being hosted on a Mac, you might have difficulty trying to get a hash symbol. That's, uh, that's, that's one of the problems. So if you push this button here, so you get two of them, um, but uh, I only ever use one because the green makes it easier for me to see. So that's all I'm going to show you for now. Oh, um, we've got new new Python module. This creates a new Python module. Um, you can also create. Uh, new file um, and then choose the templates that you want to use um, I find it's easier just to create modules um, for these these tutorials then you've got your save and the rest of the options okay so um, this is a really good editor it is it is a lot easier to use than any other edi editors that I've used now we need to install Python. The version we're looking for is 3.4.4. .4. Python 3.5 and 3.6 will not work. And Python 2 uses different syntax. And so we don't want to install that. Search for Python download. And then download Python. Make sure it comes from python.org. Go to the Windows downloads. Once you get to this page, scroll down. You might have to scroll down quite a bit before you can find it. And it's going to be Python 3.4 something. This one's going to be 32-bit version. And this bit is going to be 64-bit version. So pick the one that you want. I'm going for the 64-bit version. And click open. That should be okay as it is. Click yes. Now go to the start menu and start up PyScripter and we're just check to make sure it's working. There it is, Python 3.4.4, and it was um, Python 3.3.2. It was the one, the old one that I had. <clears throat> so that that's how you make sure that you've got the the latest version. And it is a uh, it is unfortunate that we can't seem to go any higher than that. Um, but it won't stop you from learning, so no big problem. We uh, should check it out. And it does print hello as it 
as expected. So I'll just pick, make it bigger there. So you can actually see it. It has been installed. Why not try out one of my other videos? If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe for more.